Hey guys, Cruising with JT here and today I'm excited to give you a tour of my room, an inside room on board the Norwegian Bliss. Uh, this is a great room for a couple, a small family, or even a solo traveler if you want to maybe save a bit of money as well and not stay in the studio lounge that is also on board as well. So let's go ahead and check it out. And be sure to hit that like button everyone and if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel and also enable those notifications. Right, guys, room number is 13447. This is an inside room on board the Norwegian Bliss. What's going on here? I'm gonna close the door slowly. There we go. Right when you walk in, you'll notice that there's a makeup room and do not disturb. Basically, you can select one at a time. So for example, if you want to not be disturbed, you just select that one. And then the, the outside, there's a, there's a light outside that turns red that says do not disturb. And then once you're done with that, you can just do makeup room and that becomes green. That means you can let your room steward know that you are ready for them to make up your room. You can disable both of them right there. And of course here you have the emergency instructions. Again, this is on deck 13. We're our forward midship, right there you can see the little yellow highlighted area. And as I mentioned, this is room number 13447. Again, your instructions, your assembly station. Uh, my assembly station for this crew specifically was A9, which is within the the Bliss Theater, right? So it just shows kind of like the evacuation route. And of course you have your key card holder right there. You do need to have your room key in there to make sure that there's electricity. So something to keep in mind. Got a couple of uh, hooks over here that you can see as well, that you can hang out your jacket and some other belongings that you have. So I hit the trash can there. Uh, here you have a thermostat, right? You can adjust by hitting the up and down arrows. Of course, your light switch. Let's go and check out the bathroom first. Oh, also, I want to mention that it does have a full-length mirror, right? So as you're getting ready for a formal night or any other night on board for dinner, you can check it out. Here you go in the bathroom. You got your two hooks to hang your towels, your swim shorts, your swimwear. Uh, definitely uh, options here for you. The shower itself is, you know, pretty standard, right, for a Norwegian cruise ship's inside room. You got a little clothesline right there that you can hang out your wet clothes. Uh, very, very um, comfortable shower, I thought. It's very spacious. And of course, here you have uh, your storage area for your bathroom, for your toiletries. And there I am, guys. Hello. Again, pretty standard bathroom, nothing too special, but you know, this is uh, a place where you can, you know, get ready and uh, not be, not feel too crowded, which is good. So as we step back over here, I'm gonna do a quick pan around. You notice here that you have your a little foyer area here you can get your get you can get ready got your nice table right here that you can put your belongings on and here's your bed right this is a king size bed this is two twins that convert into a king and you can see here you got uh, you got your night lights right there for each side for each guest in in this room this does accommodate for two people i don't believe uh, if you wanted to get uh, like a family of three in here you might be able to get like uh, you might be able to request like a cot or something else that you can possibly fit here but I think this room is pretty small that I would actually recommend maybe limiting to just two people unless you have like a small kid you can probably definitely you know you know all fit on that big king size bed and because you're on this side you have some more storage right there you have some storage right here as well and here you have a mini fridge right so you can put you know keep things cool in there and then you have more storage right there you got your tv and decent size nothing too big but a good size TV and of course in here you have your storage and your clothes so you can see here plenty of storage got a safe in there this is where you can hang all your clothes put your luggage all right so again pretty standard room nothing too special but again this is simple if you are looking for uh, just a place to get some rest shower and relax a little bit get away from the crowds this is a great room for you to book on board the Norwegian Bliss. One thing to keep in mind is this room, the regular inside room on board Norwegian Bliss was less than a studio room for me. Now, the studio room, which gives you access to the studio lounge as well, is actually, um, is more expensive, right? So it's smaller than this room, but more expensive. And I think it's because of the access to the studio lounge. So something to keep in mind. I also wanted to let you guys know about the various outlets available in this room. So you have three US outlets and one European outlet. Keep in mind that there's not too much space in between the top and the bottom of this um, outlet area. So if you have a larger device that requires maybe, you know, if the, the actual socket, you know, the, is in the middle, you won't be able to successfully, uh, you know, charge your device. Because I've actually had issues 
uh, getting my portable charger charged here. I can't. I can charge everything else, it's not my portable charger, so I have to, have to actually charge it elsewhere on the ship. I do want to mention that this room does have two USB outlets next to the nightstand, so you'll see here, uh, next to the, the night light, you have that USB outlet right there, and you have a USB outlet right over there, if you guys can see that in the middle. So yeah, two outlets right here for your charging devices, and then of course you have four here on the counter as well, including the one European. So, right, so now I'm zoomed out, so you guys can get a full perspective of this room. Again, Decent size, especially for two people. I probably would not recommend this for a family to, let me actually tell you guys, um, you know, with the kid, uh, you probably need more space. Um, I would probably recommend a balcony for at least a family of three. There you go. And that's your, that's your room. This is a inside room on board the Norwegian Bliss. And uh, like I said, if you guys have any questions, please do comment below and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button guys. Appreciate your support. And until next time, this is Cruising with JT. We'll see you soon. Take care. And a special shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much for your additional support. If you'd like to become a Patreon or YouTube member, I'll include the links in the description below. It's basically a behind the scenes view of Cruising with JT and special access to various benefits and perks and inside information into my upcoming videos. So if you do decide to join, I truly appreciate your support. This video is sponsored by MEI Travel. Feel free to reach out to me at cruisingwithjt at gmail.com and I'll get you connected to my travel agent at MEI Travel. She'll take great care of you. And I'll also include the information in the description below. Thank you so much.